The 44th annual PGA Championship, the final of golf's four big titles, gets underway at Aronimink Golf Course in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. The long course at Aronimink hasn't been an easy task for the world's best golfers, and only Gary players under par for 54 holes. Arnold Palmer, who's won both the Masters and British Open in 1962, would like to add the PGA to his list. But Palmer's eight strokes behind the leaders, he blasts the drive off the first tee. United States Open champion Jack Nicklaus is six strokes back, but Jack scored a 69 in the third round, and he's at the top of his game. Veteran Doug Ford is just two strokes behind player. Ford is a tough man to stop when the stakes are high. Playing in the threesome with player is Bob Golby. Bob's 212 total puts him four strokes back. South Africa's Gary Player has been sensational with his three scores of 72, 67, and 69. If Gary can hold his edge, he'll become the third foreign-born player to win the PGA. As in the United States Open, Arnold Palmer's putter has been his worst enemy. This putt on the ninth green is typical of Palmer's putting throughout. Palmer's bid for a birdie falls three feet short. Jack Nicholas's second shot on the 610-yard ninth hole is in the trap by the green. Jack blasts out perfectly and has only the short putt for a birdie. Jack made it and went on to post a 67 for the day. Gary Player is even after four holes, but is putting for a bird on five. Player deftly strokes home this 25-footer to go one under and ahead by three strokes at this point. Big George Bear is right among the leaders as he comes out of the trap on number nine. George leaves a five-foot putt for a birdie. Doug Ford can tie player as he putts from the apron on the ninth green. Doug lets it go, but he falls short. Now George Bear goes for his birdie four, which will make him even for 63 holes. Bear's putt fails to break and Bear is now one over. Gary Player approaches the ninth green one stroke over par for eight holes in the final round. Gary's wedge shot is on the green, but he's 20 feet from the cup. On the par five ninth, Bob Golby hits his third shot out of the trap. Bob's out as a beauty, and he made his putt here to get a birdie. Gary Player would like to get even for the day as he putts on number nine. Player's ball breaks at the last instant, and Gary is only one stroke under after 63 holes. We switch to the 18th green to watch Sam Snead, one of golf's all-time greats. Sammy tags this long putt and the ball misses by one inch. The slammer, a PGA champion three times in his great career, holds out for a 288 and ties Arnold Palmer for 17th place. Goldie putts on the 11th green. Bob's putt winds its way into the hole for the first of three birdies in the back nine that were to bring him to within one stroke of player. Gary Player refuses to build under the pressure of Goldie's rush. Gary is two strokes under par coming into the 18th hole. The huge gallery swarms to get close to the vital 18th. Player has a stroke lead, but he's 50 feet from the pin. Goldie is 30 feet away. Gary Player lines up the putt that can make or break him at this moment. Gary goes for the hole, but he's a trifle high and leaves himself a two-footer. 
Bob Goldie can tie and possibly win the PGA as he lines up his 30-foot putt. The crowd is silent as Goldie goes for the big one. Bob has the same line as player, but his putt also fails to break. Bob made his second putt, and once again, it's up to player. Gary Player lines up the longest two-foot putt of his career. Gary knocks it into the cup and becomes the 1962 PGA champion. Gary's 72 hole total of 278 is two strokes under par and one stroke better than Bob Goldie. Mr. and Mrs. Gary Player received congratulations from former champion Bob Rossberg. Gary Player is rewarded with first place money of $13,000 for a thrilling victory in one of the biggest tournaments of the tour, the PGA.